early this year, our mayor had signed an online pledge with the Monarch Flyway Association to commit to efforts to increase the Monarch butterfly population. What has evolved out of that commitment was the town purchased 3,000 milkweed plants. We purchased these from Wetland Plants, Inc. over in Edenton. They specialize in wetland plants. Now these are swamp milkweed. And so what we're doing is planting these along the edges of areas that have water in town. We're planting these at these two ponds up here at Hillcrest Beach Access, but then we also have two spots at Circle Drive. There's a pond over there that I've cleared out. There's another spot, the retention basin at East Dogwood and NC12, and then also at the North Marina, just at, over the bulkhead, we're planting some. So we're scattering these out throughout the town. Our goal here is trying to get that flyaway from north to south. In general, monarch butterflies are disappearing. They're on the endangered list. Because milkweed is disappearing, the monarch butterfly has to have milkweed in its reproductive cycle because it lays eggs only on milkweed plants. And then when they hatch into caterpillars, they feed on the milkweed until they become a pupa and then from there hatch into a butterfly. Like frogs, they're a canary in the coal mine because they're an indication of problems with the climate, uh, with loss of habitat, loss of feeding, and an inability to pollinate. That affects the life cycle of everyone. So we kind of started early summer, just talking about how we were going to do the plans and getting them moving. And I kind of organized helping with some of the volunteers. And you just saw we had probably about 50 people show up. Just want to say a special thank you to Jim Connors and Emily Gould for their efforts on behalf of this, uh, this project. It was very gratifying to see them take the bull by the horns, if you will, and make it happen. We had no idea as much of a success as it's been thus far. It's been just remarkable to see the turnout. And I think the, I think the monarch deserves as much attention as anything else we, we, we spend our time and effort on. Fortunately, uh, it looks like my neighbors agree with that and, and showed up in, in terrific numbers. These two ponds here are a good example of what we're doing. I came out and weed whacked everything to make it clear, you know, and easy to plant. But when spring hits, all that vegetation is going to come back that I weed whacked out. But they're going to have, you know, a thousand or more milkweed plants in there too. So we think it'll be a win-win a for everybody.